Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to TS Expert and today we got something exciting in the store for you. So today we will be creating an code generator which will fetch the random code from an API and we will be pulling in codes from a fantastic open source API injecting some wisdom and humor into our app. So whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, this video is for you. It's gonna be really really beginner friendly tutorial. We are gonna just create the codes for the Breaking Bad series, all the codes from the series and we'll show it to the user with a really nice UI as you can see in front of you and what you can do is you can actually go to the next button you will see this has a really nice loading spinner we will also create that from scratch with CSS and all of this will be done in React with a little bit of TypeScript so stick together and let's do it. So let's open the VS Code and open the VS Code terminal Inside this, we're going to install the React app using the wait. So we're going to run npm create wait at latest. Once you hit the enter, you have to name your project. So I'm going to name it codes. You can name it whatever you want and then hit the enter. Then scroll down to react with your arrow keys. So number third, react, press enter and then press enter on TypeScript. Now you have to go CD into your project. So you have to do CD quotes. Once you are in the project, you have to run npm install. We install all the dependencies, so we're just going to wait until this install. All right, now that the app has been installed, let me just pull up the terminal up so we can see what we have to do next. Now we can do is open this app into another VS Code window so we have all the folders opening on the side so we can close this one and then stay into VS Code. Now we have the full, uh, all the files inside this app folder open so we're going to go to source and now we're going to get rid of the extra files like CSS files so we don't need app.css, we don't need index.css and we also don't need this uh, v.env.d.ts file so we can remove that. We can delete all of them. Now we have to remove wherever these files were imported. So app.tsx can get rid of this extra code, the default template code. We can remove everything and just keep the fragment inside the GSX. We can remove the app.css import. Now we can come to the main.tsx and also remove index.css file from here. So that's, I have removed all the boilerplate that comes with the npm wheat. Now we can run this app, so npm run dev to run the wheat app and then type O and press enter. Now it will open and now you can see that your app is blank. So we're going to start creating our code generator from here, from blank app. Let me just check quickly in the inspect if there's any warnings in the console. So we're going to go to console and yeah, it's pretty clear. So it doesn't look like we have any warning. So let's go ahead and start creating our code generator. Well, I think I'll just delete this assets folder as well because we don't really need it. So I'm going to delete the assets folder and uh, let's create the component folder in there. So we, that's where we're going to store our components. So let's name this component and press enter. Now that we have everything ready, so we can start creating this app. So let's get into the coding part. Okay, so now that we are going to generate some random code, so what we're going to do is first we're going to get a free API to use. So we're going to go to Google and search for free APIs. And if you scroll down, there should be a link with big list of free and open public source APIs, mixed analytics. Click on this. And then we're going to scroll down to this. I think it's 150. Oh, we just search it. We'll search quotes. And there it is. So API number 159 is the one that we are after. So when we click on this, it, it has a quote that generates and it has author's name. So when we refresh it, you see it's randomly generates the code. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy this URL. And now that we are back in our VS Code, I'm going to create a component, name it card.tsx. I'm going to use the boilerplate react arrow function component export will give me this default boilerplate and I'm going to name this as class name container. 
so after that I am gonna use I use state variable const and I'm gonna name this a random quote so maybe ran quotes except ran quote get the use state so we haven't declared the use state so you can just use reject dot use state or you can just simply import it here like this then you won't have to use it dot react so once we have that and now since we're gonna get the let's check the API link it has a quote and it has author so both of them are string so we're gonna declare the types for this so I'm gonna create an interface now we'll write it quote types and we are getting quote and author so quote is a string and then author will be string as well so we have got that now we wanna assign those type to our use state so we're gonna type quote types and as we can see these are in an array so we're gonna use the array here even in here so once we have that now we can create the fetch function to fetch the quotes from this API link so I'm gonna do const fetch quotes no parameter passed and then inside this uh, I'm gonna use try actually I'm gonna use async here so async so in the try block I am gonna get a response so const response and use await then fetch inside the fetch I'm using the fetch method you can use axios or promises I check out my other video how do you use axios and other method to fetch the API data so I'm gonna pass the link here that we copied so I pasted the link here oh, I'm gonna get another const variable here get quotes from it then response dot json so we're getting the response in a json format we can check if we are getting any results from that so console.log and I'm gonna pass it quotes so here something is missing try yeah it's missing catch obviously so we're gonna do catch and then we're gonna do console.error if the appelling doesn't work we'll just write something went wrong and now that we have fetch quotes is not used anywhere so we have to use use effect hook here so use effect to mount the component on start so we're gonna declare our use state I mean use effect and then we can also import it from VX so use effect and inside this we are gonna call this function so I'm gonna copy this here and you have to pass it an empty dependency so now that this is done let's check if we are fetching anything from this link so first of all the app is running I'm gonna come to Chrome that's that's where we are running this app I'm gonna refresh this and check the console so we have nothing here obviously because I have created this card component but this card component is a child component and I haven't called this in its parent component which will be app.tsx because main.tsx is a parent component of app this is responsible for rendering the app and now I'm gonna pass this card.tsx to app component so card so following tag now we got promises there so we have got a promise fulfilled yeah, let's see what happened when the promise was fulfilled we have finally fetched the data so we have got the data but we are still missing something so we got cost we got the quote response 
and now we're gonna pass this data to set random quotes so instead of console logging it here what we can do is set random quotes and pass the course data to this the type of quote types so we await the data here and we forgot to await response here so that's it that's pretty much done let's try to console log it again to check See now instead of promise we are getting the actual array data so we have go Walter I don't want to read that so that's what we are getting now we are fetching the data already it's time to actually display the data to user so let's go ahead and do that so I'm just gonna close the terminal inside your JSX so we're gonna come down to the JSX and here I've already got a class name and container so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I'm gonna declare another use state variable here const for loading so we also want to load when we click on the next code while it's fetching that next code we want to show a loading spinner so loading set loading use state and I think this will, will be a boolean so we don't have to declare that because by default it will be false And what else we gonna do? We gonna remove this console log. Set loading to true here. So while the data is being fetched, the loading will be true. And then inside the JSX, we can actually conditionally render the loading. So we are gonna do if loading is not true loading. Then we wanna. Oh, what are you doing? So we gonna do div plus. Let's just do it this way. Loading spinner. So I'm gonna declare div inside there with the class name of loading spinner. Actually, nothing inside this, so we can do it up here. So this this and if this is not if the condition doesn't match then we uh, once the loading is done or else we gonna render is h2 breaking bad court so we are actually gonna generate courts from breaking bad series so there will be some random courts every time I click next so Let's see if loading is working. Loading. Yep, loading is working. So that's done. And now we are going to display our code. So rend. I'm going to get since this variable now has access, set rend codes has codes assigned to it. And then this is assigning that to random code. So we are going to get random rend code dot map so we are going to map it here and I'm gonna just name it code and index for our unique key and let's stop the span here oh sorry my bad let's just go back this should be bracket span and I will name I will give this span a key index which is this one now we can inside this we can pass the data to it. so there's a code so we go code accessing on the code dot code so that's gonna print the code as you can see here let's just refresh the console log and then see we we are done when I say we are done we refresh it free to cook anytime anywhere that's another random quote and console log is clear so we can move on to the author now and then I'm gonna write h4 for author there's a dash space you're gonna get quote dot author 
so here we have Walter White another one from Walter White there's a one from Seoul so yeah that's pretty much about the course now we gonna create a button here to actually like move on to the next code so we don't have to refresh the page you know in order to get that get up to the next code so we are gonna create a button so let's get ahead and after this after this div I'm gonna create a button here this will throw me error because I'm also outside of fragment so you see this so what we can do is you do this here and you copy this from here and all the way down so now everything is inside fragment this is equal to react dot fragment this is what it basically means we can actually keep it like this so here again I'm gonna do the button again from so the TN and the buttons gonna have label next and I'm gonna provide on click event to this button and let's just give it a function what I will do I'll just give it a reload function rather than giving the uh, its own function handling the next so I'm gonna do a quick way window dot location dot reload so every time you click on this button um, this will reload so see next 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 so this is for just quick tutorial if we want to do this since we don't have access to the pages here so I'm just doing this this way so now that our component is pretty much done yep we can start doing the CSS for this so let's create the CSS for this let's create the CSS file for this inside the component so I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna name this card.css and before we move on to the CSS I'm gonna do one thing here's a photo of Breaking Bad that I have downloaded so I'm gonna bring that into my VS Code I will give you the link in the description for this picture so I'm gonna bring that inside the component folder for now so we're gonna use this as the background image for our whole page so first thing first I'm gonna do I'm gonna split this so I can see my classes and we're gonna start off with the body so I'm gonna give some default style to the body no background the first thing is background which will be the URL that I just imported into that container folder so we're gonna go Breaking Bad so and I'm also gonna import this file here so import card actually one behind card.css so as you can see it's already you can already see this in the background like this so I'm gonna close this so now it's all over the place so let's try to make it a little bit better so I'm gonna speed up the CSS you can just pause the video to copy it because CSS is not what we really focus on it takes a lot of time and the video get longer for reason, no reason what so I will do I will put a link in the description for the CSS file so you can actually directly access this on my Google Drive and just copy paste the whole CSS file into yours and this way it will be much easier for you to see the outcome <laughs>
So let's check it. Let's try to click on the next and see if the spinner is working. And yeah, it is working. So that's perfectly fine. Now we can see we have finally created this quotes card, generating quotes from an open source API. We picked up Breaking Bad quotes and we got the uh, background image from the one of this gallery. Don't forget to check the link in the description for all the sources for the CSS file and for the background image. And if you really like this video, please hit that subscribe button and hit like and share with your colleagues. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Any question, please don't forget to put in the comment section. I will try my best to reply to you as soon as possible. And I will meet you until next video. Thank you.